And of course, we've got this. This is courtesy of Hypebeast. Another look at the Off White and Air Jordan One, Air Jordan Two Low. Sorry, that's due to come out very, very soon. The color again is the white and red. I've already talked about. I think the black and navy color previously. But again, the point remains, as I said previously, if Virgil is able to convince sneakerheads to queue up, um, to buy bots, to, you know, F5 in all day on flipping certain websites and sell these bitches out, if he somehow manages to convince them that Air Jordan 2 is on the next wave, he deserves to be crowned the greatest sneaker designer of the mod of the 21st century or something. I don't know. He deserves some kind of reward like that. He definitely has to do it. He definitely has to be up there because that's one of the beauties of the Nike 10 project that people don't really pay attention to was the fact that he was able to drop 10 sneakers all at once all with the similar sort of, for the most part, some of the similar sort of color base in terms of being mostly white on white and every single one of them sold out, right? They all kind of go for at least double the value, even the converses, right? Some of them go for triple the actual retail value or the retail uh, ticket price, right? So if he's able to somehow make people care about Jordan 2s, which for the most part are maybe the less coveted Jordans um, within like numbers one to 10 if he's able to get people to care about this like he definitely deserves an award because i remember one of the what the most prominent version of this might have been the vashti jordan 2s right she was i think she might be the first female to design uh, a jordan brand shoe or jordan retro and she got the jordan 2 which i thought was a bit of a piss take right she was at that time somebody very well um regarded in the scene and to go out and give her Jordan 2 felt like a little bit of a kick in the teeth considering, again, um, the amount of influence and kind of swag that she has in the scene and the affiliations that she's had and the time she's been in the industry. It just feels as if like she decided that she deserved a better canvas. And then, of course, as many years progressed, someone like a Lily May has ended up getting a Jordan 1 that everybody was very fond of. But in general, Jordan 2s have never really got the biggest amount of love for the most part. If you're a designer, you know, if, if you're a brand, you want to obviously get the piece of resistance models so to give yourself a best possible chance of them being successful you go for the jordan one you go for the three you go for the four you go for the five you go for the six maybe the seven but you wouldn't go for a, a, a two a two is like going for an eight a two is like going for a nine or a ten do you know what i mean those are those are hard shoes to shift to like regular kind of you know um lifestyle shoe wearer guys you know what i mean like it's just difficult to shift those things i'm sure there's jordan groupies that love every single jordan brand that comes out right um for sure even the team jordan brand shoes which are pretty much the worst things that ever existed i think probably worse than the nike 6.0 stuff that used to come out back in the day but if if virgil's able to get people to care about the jordan too he deserves an award as maybe the greatest sneaker designer or collaborator of all time because these shoes are don't get me wrong the white pair they look fairly decent they look like a great kind of tennis shoe inspired thing the fact that he's kind of given this sort of like pre-age distressed effect on the midsole they would kind of look at to make him look like they're crumpling like the old school retros with the pu midsole when you don't wear them right when they've all been dried out and stuff that's a fairly good touch and you know um of course the discolorization on the midsole the levers look really good because for the most part when they do collaborations the levers are always a little bit subpar it looks like they kind of splashed out in that regard they've got this kind of snicky sprint pattern here on the back and really nice levers done here on the front and the laces and the twist and turns and bloody blah, blah 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 and the exposed bits of foam here on the on the on the top but it's still a jordan too you know what i mean again if he's make, able to make people to care about these man he deserves an award so let's go continue on the pictures they look fairly decent again probably better than the black and navy colorway but not the best sneaker of it in the world are they not the best but hey congrats to him man he doesn't he just churns them out in it they give him they give him an idea and i wonder I, I'd, I'd imagine there's probably a big story tied to them in terms of activation i'm sure it's not just going to be a drop it's going to be other things tied in towards them but we've got no information on when they're going to drop oh yeah we do actually released on 23rd of september allegedly so far rumored release so um wait out for them when they do end up coming out wait out for them when they do end up coming out